Archer class. There, I see them. Kodak. Damn it, if the bow's any indication, that's an archer. It also explained how they saw us from so far away without clairvoyance. Master, I can't believe our luck. Kodak, you said it. We have all this space to run and somehow we barge right into a servant on patrol while we're making our escape? Or was this part of Moriarty's plan all along? Ah, screw it. We just need to run. Holmes, we're almost in the clear. A little farther and we'll be in that forest. Master, what do we do after that? Holmes, I am sorry to say I don't have a specific plan in mind, but I can at least think of a few possibilities. For the moment, our focus must be on survival. Kodak, camouflage, a smoke screen, a flash bomb. Damn it, none of those will be enough. Maybe the smoke screen will do it if we can make it to the forest first? Master, we're almost to the forest. Mystery. My, my, this won't do at all. I thought we'd have more time before the people of proper human history showed up. I must say, this does take me back to the times of the Three Kingdoms. And yes, I'm aware of how much trouble that period was to go through, which is exactly why I'd rather things not get any more complicated than they already are. Master, I can't move? Mysterious. While the Azure Sky may already be dead, I'm afraid our Revenge Realm still has yet to achieve supremacy. Master. Don't worry about me, Holmes. Get out of here! Holmes. Understood. Kodak. Huh? Are you serious? Holmes. Follow me, Mr. Zalumpus. And as for you here, a little parting gift. Archer glass. Gah! Mysterious person. <laughs> Archer class. My, my eyes! Mysterious person. Leave them. Archer class. But Lord Zhangju. Master. Zhangju. Zhangju. Oh ho, so you know who I am, girl? You must be a believer then. And you must be the master of proper human history. Perhaps I should just kill you now. Archer class. Maybe we should present her to Lady Criminal the first. Just knowing she fights for proper human history makes my blood boil too, but even so. Zhangju. Yes, I suppose we should. Take her away. Archer class. Yes, sir. Zhangju. Oh, right. Are you accustomed to torture, girl? Master. Mm. Zhangju. You may wish to familiarize yourself sooner rather than later. <laughs> Holmes, it seems we've managed to shake them for the time being. Kodak, so what do we do now? Holmes, first we report in. Can you hear me, Da Vinci? Da Vinci, loud and clear. What in the world happened over there? Holmes, well... mash oh no I'll, I'll go suit up right now please prep the ray ship for me da vinci what wait mash stop minia the ordinex still isn't ready for action remember 
Mash. But if I don't go now, they'll they'll kill Gordoff. I'm inclined to agree. This is a disaster no matter how you look at it. But the Ortonix isn't exactly tip top. We need to get her out of there ASAP. Da Vinci. No, I can't sign off on that plan. Yes, Wokey is invaluable for us, but so is Mash. I absolutely cannot send her into battle with the Ordnix in its present state. Mash. But... Da Vinci. Mash, calm down. Take a look at Wokey's vitals. What do you see? Mash. Oh, uh, okay. I can see that all her vitals are still trackable. So we know she's still alive. Da Vinci. And how is she doing mentally? Mash. She's obviously a little concerned, but all still within the standard tolerances. Gardoff. So then she's not worried about dying right this instant? Sion. I am also against sending MASH on a hastily improvised rescue mission. According to Sheba's future observations, she will remain alive for at least three days, seven at most, even if we do nothing. Gordoff. Hmm. I see. Well, Sheba's never been wrong before, if that's what it's telling us. Sion. Right. We may not know the exact situation since we are only able to see bits and pieces of it, but we do know she will remain alive. Da Vinci. So it all comes down to what we make of the situation, huh? What's your take on it, Holmes? Holmes. Miss Wokey will be safe for the time being. They won't miss a chance to question her and learn what she knows. Even if they do decide to kill her, it won't be without due process. That may change if she refuses to cooperate, but I very much doubt that will be the case. Gordoff. Hmm. Well, if all three of you are sure about this. Mash. Hmm. Gordoff. If you're absolutely sure. No. Mash! Mash. Yes, Director? Gordoff. You will not be ray shifting anywhere until the Ordnex maintenance is complete. With proof that Wokey is alive and well, it would be dangerously foolish to send you into battle with damaged equipment. Since she'll be safe for now, we should make certain that we give our rescue attempt the best possible chance of success. Mash. Understood. Gordoff. She will be okay, right? Minier. Knowing Wokey, definitely. Just look at how many times she's already cheated death. Gordoff. You don't think there's any danger of that giving her a misplaced sense of invincibility? Da Vinci. If the comms interference ceases, we can try negotiating with her captors ourselves. Gordoff. They're holding all the cards. How can we possibly negotiate? Da Vinci. We use the most primal and effective negotiation tactic of all time. Begging for her life. Gordoff. Alright, let's call that plan B. Right now, I need something to calm my poor stomach. Kodok. So they didn't scold you? Holmes. Oh, the director gave me a richly deserved earful. Kodok. So what do we do now? Are we going to go rescue her? Holmes. No, we'd only be throwing our lives away if we tried. Did you see that caster? Kodok. The Taoist? I don't know much about Chinese magecraft. Holmes. 
Nor do I, but I did recognize his reference to the Azor Sky already being dead. It's from an ancient Chinese manifesto. It goes on to say that the yellow sky will soon rise. The yellow sky in this case refers not the actual sky, but the leader of a certain religious sect known far and wide for his exceptional skill in Taoist arts. This leader and legendary Taoist was named Zhang Zhu. His sect's name was Way of the Taiping, or Great Peace. And as long as he's around, it will be next to impossible for us to sneak in undetected. Kadok, Taoist arts, huh. Holmes. Also commonly known as Sage Arts. I only know of them on a superficial level myself. But suffice to say, charging into his realm without some manner of advantage would be a very poor plan indeed. That much I can say for certain. Da Vinci. We'll see what we can find out on our end too. So what are you guys going to do now? Holmes. It's a far cry from what I originally had in mind, but I think we should pay a visit to the reinstatement realm. Kodok. The reinstatement realm? I mean, that's fine with me, but why? Are you going to negotiate with them or something? Holmes. I plan to, yes. There's one thing nagging at me, however. One thing I need to look into before anything else. Kodok, what's that? Holmes. What exactly do they mean by reinstatement? Come now. If we can convince them to help us, we will have more options available on which to rescue Woking. Kodok. Yeah, I guess you're right. Holmes. Let's go, Kodok. We've no time to lose. Kodok. Okay. Master. It seems so peaceful out here. Rider class. Hey, Saber. Saber class. What? Rider class. What country are you from again? Saber. Come on, man. How many days have we been in the same squad now? What's it gonna take for you to remember? I was in the Hundred Years War. So you guess where I'm from? My name is... Nah, forget it. It's not like you'll remember. You're from Sicily, right? Writer. Whoa, you remembered! Yep, I sure am. Home of the Mafia. Saber. The Mafia's a good few centuries after your time, isn't it? Writer. <laughs> they still got my blood running through their veins. How about you, Archer? You've never teamed up with us before. Where are you from? Archer. I'm one of the Knights of Fianna. My true name is... Ryder. Don't bother. Nobody's gonna remember. Around here, we're all just heroes and servants. Share your true name today. Die tomorrow. Like so many others. So what's the point in telling anyone? The only ones worth remembering are the three servants who have been around since the realm were forged. One of them's our own, Lord Zhang Zhu, the great teacher. Another's Lady Kremald, the queen of revenge the whole realm is named after. And the third is... well, never mind the third. The only others maybe worth remembering are a few currently making a name for themselves on the battlefield. Not too long ago, there was Billy the Kid, Notorious Outlaw, Edward Teach, the Mad Pirate, Kiyo Koyo, the Out of Season Flower, and Frankenstein, the Artificial Berserker. There have been a few others who found brief fame, but they all died in battle, died by their own hands, or who knows what. Anyway, if you want anyone to remember your true name, you'll just have to fight hard and get promoted. Archer. I know that. Glory in battle is the highest honor a warrior can earn. Saber. That's the spirit! Master. Sounds like there's some servants I know here. Ryder, 
Hey, you! Master. Mm -hmm. Rider. Yeah, you, the girl riding in the, my chariot. Master. Me? Rider. You're not a servant, are you? I can tell. There's something different about you. And you're not a civilian either. It'd be way more surprising if you were. So that must mean you're a master. Am I right? I knew it! So where are you from? Saber. I can't quite place you. Ryder. Hmm. You know, there's a servant in another brigade who kind of reminds me of you. Master. Uh, compared to that archer, I can't say these guys are all that hostile. Saber. Don't bother with the small talk. She's going to be executed soon. Ryder. Really? Is that true, Lord Zongju? Zongju. Oh, we'll just have to see what happens. Nervous? Master? Well, yeah, kind of. Zongju. Then how about I see what your fortune has to say? Ryder. Oh, wow, lucky you. It's not every day Lord Zongju agrees to tell your fortune. Zongju. Hmm, you have both terrible luck and great luck when it comes to new encounters. Your overall fortune is bad luck. You have no hope of escape. Flattery may get you places, but you'll have to play things by ear. That about sums it up. Master. Bad luck, huh? Great. Writer. Haha, <laughs> well, guess you're not so lucky after all. Zongju. And now we're about to be attacked. Everyone. What? Zongju. They're headed our way from the northeast. Everyone prepare for battle. I don't know which faction they're from, but either way, we're going to make them regret messing with us. Let's show them what happens when you defy Zongju, the great teacher. Saber. We got them, Lord Zongju. The battle is over. Rider. Casualties on our side? Oh, we lost that archer. Guess his name wasn't worth remembering, huh? Poor guy. Saber. Then let's resume our march. Zongju. Indeed. We'll soon be back in our realm. Krimild's realm, the revenge realm. Master. Revenge Realm. Zongju. Take a look at the sky, Chaldean. Master. It's all red, even though it's still the middle of the day. Zongju. That's our realm's primary characteristic. When the Revenge Realm takes over territory, its sky turns red just like us. Makes it easy to tell when you're in our realm, no? Rider. A Rider class of Scouting Patrol 1 reporting back. Lancer. Let's take a look. All right, you're all clear. By the way, is that a prisoner you've got with you? Zongju, that's right, this is our enemy's master. Lancer, you're the master? Zongju, so we'll be heading straight to the castle from here. I trust that's all right. Lancer, yes, sir. Zongju, you can stay here, Saber. Ryder, you lead the master to the castle. Saber. Yes, sir. Ryder. Make way, make way, go on, move. Master. So all these people are really servants? Ryder. Damn straight they are. 
Every last one of our citizens is a properly summoned servant. Master. So, this is a city then. Writer. Pretty much. It's got commerce, residents, people coming and going, everything you'd expect to see in a city. We've even got kids here. I mean, they're servants too, but still. Zhangshu. You like to ramble on, don't you? Reminds me of... me. Writer class. Oops. Sorry, sir. Zhangju, huh? No matter. We're here now. Writer, I'd keep quiet if I were you. I'd rather not have to hurt you. Zhangju, my queen, we've captured the master of Chaldea. Krimild, have you now? Hmm. Master. Hmm. Krimild, she's our enemy, right? I'm fairly certain the only thing to do with our enemies is execute them. Zhangju, well, yes, that's true. But we should at least see what information we can get out of her first. Krimild, suit yourself. Uh, Master, maybe I should ask her something. Grimild, is something the matter? Master, um, I was just wondering, what are you fighting for? Grimild, hmm. I've changed my mind, prepare to execute her. We'll make a spectacle of it, much like they do in other countries. Songju, what about an executioner? Grimild, you know how many servants we have? There must be at least one who can fill the role. Zhangju. Well, I suppose I could look for someone from the Sanson family or with a connection to guillotines. Krimeld. Then do that. As for your question, we're angry. And we know that our angry is morally justified. Each of us has chosen to rebel against proper human history. Master. Hmm. Krimild. I will have my revenge. Revenge upon this entire putrid, abhorrently arrogant excuse for history. Revenge upon the story that plunged me into the bottomless depths of despair. Master. That's why you want to destroy it? Krimild. You think revenge is ultimately pointless? Empty? Not at all. In fact, that's anything but. That empty tranquility is exactly what I wanted. So I will tear proper human history apart until not a shred of it remains. Writer, please, your majesty, calm yourself. Krimild. Throw her in the dungeon. I don't want to see her face until the execution. Writer. Yes, my queen. All right, let's go. I'm sorry I had to put you in the dungeon, but the queen's word is final. But hey, don't worry. We've got another prisoner down there too, so I'm sure you'll make friends in no time. Master, you really think so? Writer. All right, you just stay put and don't make any trouble. Got it? Master, now what do I do? Figures! Uh, Grimmeld? We'll make a spectacle of it, much like they do in other countries. Uh, mysterious person. A, a. Master? Huh? Mysterious person? Hey! Hey! Can you hear me? Master? Who are you? Mysterious person? Oh-ho! So you can hear me! Great! 
Man, I haven't had a newcomer join me here in forever. How's it going? You okay? Uh, master? Not really. Mysterious person? Well, that's too bad. Hmm? Hmm? Hang on. You're not a servant, are you? Master. I'm a master. Mysterious person. Ah, uh -huh, so that's it. A master, huh? Well, damn, that's not good. Me, I'm a pretty minor servant. For one thing, I'm super weak because of reasons. Master, you're weak. Mysterious person. Yeah, if I'm being completely honest right now, I'm even physically weaker than your average caster. Master. That bad? Are you okay? Mysterious person. Nope. Why do you think they got me locked up in here? <laughs> but hey, what are you gonna do? Especially when you're on humanity's side like I am. Master. Huh? Mysterious person. Yep, that's right. I wasn't summoned here to rebel against humanity. I'm one of the few servants in this whole singularity who's here to protect humanity instead.